Hilly's on a champ he can't fucking int with. Matt, I'm actually not a, uh, a millionaire. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Pepe laugh. Oh, yes, he can. Oh, yes, he can. <laughs> All right. But can't be sure it dropped. Seven stack you should have sold. I don't remember. Okay, sorry. Ender on Twitter. Okay, um, so they ban Evelyn and they ban Rengar. Okay, and uh, Zoe. Mo do do sasa. She. Okay, nice joke. All right. Um, Akali and Zoe banned. Okay. Uh, I mean, Vladimir picked for, like, what's considered a free lane. I mean, the, 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 these games are just so hard to, to play for Nemesis, to be honest. Like, this, this spot is really hard to pick. Because you have to pick a champion that's good into Vlad, but that also is technically blind. Like, I guess, like, actually a pretty insane champion here is, um... Pretty insane champ is Anivia, um, because the champion that beats Anivia is very weak to Bard and Orn. Um, he's gonna blind Cassio, dude. Oh man, he's gonna blind Cassio, man. It's so sad. It's actually so sad. I don't even know how much he's played her lately. Oh no, he's not gonna blind Cassio. He's not. He's not okay. He's, he's not a degenerate. All right, finally, finally. No, Anivia, the problem with Anivia isn't just that you you play Anivia, it's um it's also that your teammates need to know how to play with Anivia. Yeah. Which can be a problem. Cassio's only good as a counter pick on red. And she's only good against certain team comps. She can be picked blue four, blue four, blue five if like enemy team is very sinful. Sorry. How old is the pizza? I don't know. Two hours. Who beats Nibia? Long range champions. Syndra is also good against Nibia. Well, I mean, if Nivea, if Nivea grabs Syndra once, then it doesn't matter, but, yeah. Fizz is also good against Nivea. Fizz is really hard. Karthus is good against her, yeah. Three Hex Drinkers and two Lockets? I don't know what that means. What is the treatment you called mentioned earlier? I don't know. In Korean, they call it Aqua Fill. Aqua Filling. Or something. It's called like water, uh, water injection aqua filling. I don't, I don't know what the hell it is. They take a, a really small needle that's like very similar to micro needling. It pokes holes into your skin, and then in the same motion, it applies and massages in, uh, like nutrients, and chemicals, and like a medicine to the skin, and then it blasts it with water. And that's what happens. Like, that, that, that is the endless cycle. And they, they rub it all over your face. And it sort of hurts, but not really. 
It's a little it's a little uncomfortable, but then afterwards, um, you get this like giant fucking like moisturizing cream and it gets massaged over your face and then you get um you get like a paper mask put on top of your face and then you get a cloth put on top of that and they they put your head in like this machine for like 45 minutes that kills uh bacteria and stuff and then um it also does something with the, i don't know yeah whatever yeah graves took ignite um We've seen this out of Graves's in the last couple of months because, uh, I mean, you get you get phase rush, <clears throat> you get phase rush, and uh, you get phase rush a lot easier. But also, it makes it impossible for opponents to do anything against you. So, no, I'm not gonna do a draft breakdown. I don't know. Timer, my timer's correct, or is it messed up in the? Okay, yeah, it's correct. It's correct, guy in chat. Fuck, you're weird. Ramos over Set? What do you mean? Oh, uh, yeah, but Set was already picked, right? Set was already picked. Cinder was last picked. Unless you're talking about, like, send Set mid, but then, like, your lanes can't play with Ramos. Like, that's not a Ramos spot. I see you commonly go to the hospital. No, I don't, I don't, I don't go to the hospital for, like, serious issues. I go to hospital for cosmetic. Pioshik played a good amount of uh, Ghost Graves. I have no idea. I don't think Pioshik's very good either. He should not be a, a person of reference just because he's on DRX who are going to Worlds. He's DRX's worst player. Victor good versus Nivea? Yeah. <clears throat> Pioshik is pretty bad, yeah. Actually, he, he he actually is. He would not be an LCK, uh, like, uh, I don't I don't think he's LCK level jungler. I think that he's uh shored up by his teammates. People don't realize how easy it is to play jungle when you have fucking Chovy in mid lane and then Deft and Carrier in bot lane. You actually have to try to not be good at jungle. When, when those are your teammates. You have to really try. Flawless and Bono aren't much better. Yeah. Cur jungle jungle in Korea is very weak right now. Jungle jungle in Korea is very weak. The best, the best jungler in Korea is not even playing. He's literally just streaming on Twitch. Obviously, I'm referring to Tarzan. Tarzan won't join DRX. Him and CV Max are like fucking arch enemies. Or whatever. Because Tarzan, during the sword drama, uh, Tarzan sided with uh, sword. Who do I think the best player in the world is? Right now, gun to my head, I would probably say Showmaker. I think in terms of who can be better, I think Chovy. But I think they're both... Yeah. I think Showmaker. When, I, when, I, when you're asking me best player, I mean, who would be the best League of Legends player devoid of just, like, their role and stuff? Like, that's how I'm, I'm interpreting it. So I, I only feel confident saying Showmaker. <sighs> well, he is, uh, yeah, I mean, not much he can really do. The matchup's really hard, by the way. The matchup's really hard. People, people in chat might they might flame Nemesis, but they've never played Syndra versus Quirky at the highest level. The matchup's actually really, really hard versus a competent Syndra, which Caps is. So he's getting into really awkward spots, um, and it's very easy for Syndra to play, even with the nerfs that Syndra received. Um, so you know, like the landing phase is obviously like not ideal. Hillisang's here, like backing him up, but Hillisang shouldn't just be backing him up. He should have actually walked into the lane and then helped him shove 
Like his his lane isn't a nightmare fiat or a nightmare spot, but also I mean Nemesis sort of did it to himself like uh, a couple of waves prior. This is really good though, Mickey just randomly running into graves. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Um, and then the the wave is like somewhat okay. Reckless takes uh, a little bit of the CS, but meanwhile down in bot lane, Ash should have just. Uh, I actually I'm sorry, no, I didn't I didn't see the mini map there. Maybe maybe Ash should not have just uh, randomly shoved, but I think it's fine. Is GP bad against Kate? No. GP GP's really good. Bripo's probably just mental blocked. Either Bripo's mental blocked, or the team maybe doesn't... Oh, okay. Is he dead? It's over. Yeah, I, th I think this game's over. Yeah. I think this one's over. Getting dumpstered right now. GG. And I don't know. I mean, Whippo tried. He tried. He tried. This is just looking like one of those games where it's just going to end, by the way. Also, the, the fact that uh, the bot CS is the way that it is is obviously like not ideal. So I'm trying to get the Ocean Dragon. I mean, he's going to be able to get it, but... I think the game's over for the most part. What a Nemesis is justing six and Caps is like well into level seven. I mean, the the game's just over through mid lane at this point. The game's just over through mid. I don't know. <sighs> is any AD mid viable? What do you mean, any? Oh, any AD mid is what you were asking. Sorry. Nemesis is not even playing the same game. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, mid lane, mid lane's over. Mid lane, mid lane's fucking doomed. Reckless is gonna try to freeze right now down here in uh, in in Botterino, but yeah, yeah. Nemesis might not join the uh the coach stream. <clears throat> this game's definitely over. He might not join. Last time this happened, he didn't join. Whippo ended up joining. Uh, in finals, if you guys remember, because we had the the LCS coach stream. Uh, I wanted him to join, but Whippo joined instead. I think that if you think that Fnatic can win the game, you're insulting the players. If you accept that both of these teams are like elite level, and you accept that the leads that are present and where they're present are very crucial to both teams' like win conditions or like strengths, then you should acknowledge that the sequence of the game that should play out should always just be Syndra fucking annihilating the opponents like 10 minutes from now. Like, there should be no hope against her. And the Corky is just a non-factor, right? So... No, I never insult players personally, guy in chat. I only insult people like you. <clears throat> That's totally different. I insult people like you who are willfully fucking ignorant. Moron. Talk about players play, criticize mistakes that they make, but not how they are as human beings. That's you, guy in chat. You're the guy in chat that <coughs> goes on Reddit with your anonymity and writes personal comments about people. Probably. Praying that you get a couple of upvotes so that you can masturbate to it and then tell your best friend on Discord later. <coughs> Fucking loser. All right, they got the blue buff. Um, I guess, uh, I mean, Graves will probably just go and get uh, golems. Mm, Hilly should be fine. Hilly should be fine here. Hilly should be fine. Okay, okay. That's pretty good. They gave the kill to Nemesis, but that's really bad. Mm. Sorry. Um, Nubisus getting the kill. Uh, Nubisus getting the kill 
it helps him get back into a standardized game state for Corky, but it's really it's still really bad, yeah. Like you can you can view it from the angle of just investing all your gold into Caitlyn and then praying that she's going to be able to do something. Um but yeah. Don't call who what? 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 No need to be rude. What are you talking about? Syndra's so far ahead that it's really hard. I don't know. I don't know what I mean. Lil Narthil. Yeah, getting getting three zero in finals is obviously really bad. Like the Cinderella story is that like somehow here, um, Fnatic managed to get like second dragon and then they roll fucking. I don't know, double mountain, and then somehow win. Hey, can... What? Uh... Ani, Uh... Chip, mo, moon, ape? Monster iso. Hmm? Jo. Ani, jo. Okay. Uh... Uh, okay. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, it's probably actually winnable now. I, I don't know. Um, also, Caps doesn't have uh, magical boots. I don't know why he didn't go Sorks uh, earlier. Um, I need more ice cup. Huh? Ice cup or so? Shiba. Yeah. Ice cup. Is Fnatic really gonna win this? You saw? Wow, sexy. Mo. Ani mo ya ego. Can you get towel? Where's towel? No, no, towel, towel. Uh, okay. okay. Thanks. Yeah, okay. Thanks, shrimp. Chakra is a tweet? What is it? Okay, hold on. Let me look at Chakra as a tweet. I mean, I feel like it's really weird. Um, wait. Uh. What do you call it when you lose, uh, even before you interact? No, 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 please. Okay, thanks. Wait, hold on, wait, what? Wait, what is Chakra saying? I don't understand. Uh... I don't understand. Wait, what is Chakra as a sweet? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. His conditioning and overgrowth. Uh, instead of unflinching, I guess. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't understand Chakra as a sweet. Oh, yeah. I mean, Last Stand's kind of weird, right? Last Stand's the only weird one. He should have just had a, should have had a uh, cut down, right? Yeah. Lethal Tempo's good. Lethal Tempo's good. Ooh. Corky. Lethal tempo's good. Yep. Makes sense. What? What do you mean cut down makes no sense? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's fine. 
but he has last stand. Oh yeah, I mean he shouldn't have overgrowth. He should have unflinching. He should have unflinching and uh, conditioning. Because then you go you go uh, merc treads and unflinching, and you're pretty good. Hi, Crowny. Crowny, everyone loves you. Okay. Perks got, um, Bork this game, but, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like there's, I feel like guys in chat, like, seeing the game turn out the way that it is, and that, like, Fanatic's, like, in a fine position right now. Oh, 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 they think oh. that, like, oh, okay. he just missed R, he yeah. just missed R, he oh, just missed wait. R. Nobody block. Now they lose. Uh. I mean, but why, why is this fight happening? Can anyone fucking tell me why? What is the fight over, by the way? What is it over? Uh, not the word. <laughs> what is the fight over? You had Corky and bot lane. Mm -hmm. You have Corky and bot lane waiting to scale up. Graves almost has fucking black cleaver. Oh, tower? Okay, yeah. Let's watch the fight, by the way. Wow. Yeah, let's wow, get him, dude. I mean, why fucking get him. Like look at look at Corky and bottom. Look at Corky and bottom, <laughs> and Scuttlecrab is about to come up. What the fuck is this Bartle, man? <laughs> Any anything? Anyone? Does anyone have a reason for this fight? Because I, I don't. I don't. You know? No? Okay. It's about dick size. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I hadn't considered that actually. Wow. <laughs> but at least the Nautilus is thinking here, so it's fine. I can understand something though. I think for spectators, this can actually be considered fun League of Legends. But I don't think that for, like, um, I don't think for, like, people, like, amateurs or, like, academy players or, like, other pros, I don't think this is fun to watch. Like, is this fun to watch? No. For you? No? Okay. I mean, I just can't I know, I know Songju got bored, so he stopped watching. Because he thinks it's, like, bad. I think this is a, a lot of, a lot of, um... I think, like, when, when you guys hear the stories about how, like, a lot of pro players don't watch uh, pro games, it's because, um, I think m most don't think that it's very fun. Do you know what I mean? Thanks for the leash. No, even, even when Fnatic wins, like, I, I tend to mold actually quite a bit. But, I think, um, I, I, I do, I do acknowledge that I think this, uh, can be very fun for, like, yeah, for spectators. Um. But I also acknowledge that, like, my like my idea and, like, probably many other people's ideas of, like, what a fun or, like, good game is is probably very boring for most people, if that makes sense. Uh, yes. yeah. it it's probably very boring. Like, laners, like, always playing around their jungle, no fights, only fights, like, very controlled settings, yep. fights over minion waves, like, that. that's fun. Because, um, it's, it's skill expression. Which is sort of probably like, um, like watching chess. Oh, okay, this is not fun, okay? I felt that. This isn't fun. Now why did he buy some... Autentic thing? Great. Why does he build Black Cleaver too? What armor? <laughs> that has insane armor. <laughs> what armor, dude? He's losing a shopkeeper. Set. Oh yeah, set. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a really, really need to kill set. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really need to kill him. I mean, what it, what it, like? Reckless isn't there. I mean, Wonder's just getting insane value on Vladimir here. Uh, I think he just want to get or an upgrade, I think. Games that wait. Sorry, what? Games that are interesting to you are only fun when they are extremely high level. Only then do they a uh, couple mechanical outplay to fascinating macro. Yes. Yeah, you do. Thinking about saying what is playing a game in practice uh, context versus a tournament context. The other time, uh, the other time Hikaru and Chess admitted level of play degrades in high tension games compared to when he is playing off tournament. And if you watch other team based sports, uh, final games tend to be really dull. No, it's actually the opposite. Guy in chat. 
So you've, uh, in League of Legends, it actually tends to be the opposite. Generally, uh, stage play games are actually um, the most reserved of all games that you get in any practice environment in League of Legends. Okay, if you've watched any scrims of any teams, um, you would know that 80 kill scrim games are pretty common. They're actually very common. Um, 50 kill uh, by 30 minutes, very common. Um, players just randomly turret diving tier 2, very common. Um, the slow and controlled games do not actually exist in LoL. The slowest games that exist in LoL actually occur in competitive and on stage. I'm not agreeing with him. What? He said finals are more. No, no. I'm saying the games aren't slow enough. They're they're. What? No, he's saying that the level of play degrades. But the level of play actually gets better on stage than in scrims. That's true. I, I, and I, you know, I, I, I appreciate that. I, I, I appreciate that. I know that I'm the minority there. Um, that people don't want to watch um, control versus control. Yeah, the level of play in any game degrades under pressure. Anyways, this game. I mean, this is another example. Like, why are G two fighting? I don't know. I, think I don't know. I don't know. Even I did so bad. Why? Out of the white or white does he have ignite? Um. Have you ever played it? Yeah. Oh, you don't like it? I mean, not not just simple because I need to dodge so many skill shots. Yeah. With flash. I don't, I don't, I don't like that he has Black Cleaver. He should have gone. He should. This is the perfect game for you, Moose, and shit. Okay. This and is the perfect game for you, Moose. And I think Edge of Night is too safe too. Yeah, Edge, Edge of Night, you Moose, like, uh, it's really sad. And this is the other thing: is Corky, Corky is so stuck right now. No, he can't bomb now. Okay. <sighs> Huh? Red buff. Oh, okay. Scorching or what? How did he die? Scorching? What? Huh? Yeah. Scorchy? Really? No, it can't. It wasn't Scorchy. It can't be. What was it? An auto attack? Oh, maybe an auto. Uh, AA? Yeah. Last AA. Cor oh, Corrupting Potion. No. It's magic damage. He, ha he has Hex Drinker. Oh, you're right, actually. No, yeah, Hex Shrinker was live, guys. I don't know what that was. Hey, hey, I guess. Okay, bard. Why is it that every uh, game always floats towards control? Like, the pinnacle play never seems to be aggro. Aggro playstyles only seem to arrive on balance fuck-ups, while control always rises without the help of balance. Because when you play the games long enough... You begin to realize how to resist all the aggressive plays, and then you realize that the aggressive plays actually cost you too much, um, and that you should just lose the game. Every single uh, board game, strategy game, etc. throughout history, even with the help of AIs, um, shows and suggests uh, that uh, control basically is what is always going to be ended up at. Um, control doesn't mean that you never attack. Um, but it means that the the circumstances under which attacks occur um, is very different um, than like what you're used to seeing. That was a good question. Yeah, that was actually a really good question. We don't really get many of those. I think that that is not just a guy in chat. You know what I mean? That is not just a guy in chat. Honestly, a little a little exquisite. <laughs> Not just. That was a sir in the chat, I think. What do you do? What? 
uh, when players like Magnus consistently. Um, he goes consistently non-standard because he thinks that um, it throws the opponents off their game more. Um, and he plays into the human element there. And I think that there's a lot of respect there. Um, I think this is very akin to uh, other esports titles where uh, players who are at like basically the peak of their craft would very often do that. Um, because they realize that they can gain a greater edge that way, but they'll only actually re rely on macro, um, like when when they absolutely need it. Um, for instance, like Flash, um, at like his peak, he was known as a very um, a very uh, hard to read player. Like you didn't know what he was gonna do. Um. He would, he would be one of the cheesiest people in the entire scene, and then he would also be the strongest macro player. Um, but he would very often do very cheesy build orders um, or very mechanical intensive openings. Um, yeah, unpredictable. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't think of the word. Stuff like that would be really good. No, it's different in League of Legends because all information is face up. There's no information concealed. Lanes are always visible because of minions or neutral. Champions are understood. Runes are understood from loading screen. Like, League is a very face-up game compared to something like StarCraft or WarCraft. It's very, very different. I mean, they're freezing bottom, but I, I just feel like it's inevitable, you know? I mean, Whippo is, uh, he's 15. He should upgrade Corky's Trinity Fusion next because uh, Corky has Mirror Mana. So it it's not just the Trinity Fusion that gets uh where it's not just the Trinity Force like getting upgraded, you also get like the mana converts into damage too, so it's really good. Mm. Talking about like concepts like these are always really fun, but I know that they're very dull for like the majority of people. But I don't know. I, I, I love uh, strategy in, in general. That's why I try to watch, like, a lot of, like, documentaries and stuff on, like, other games. Um, and why I've, like, reached out to uh, high-level people from other games. Like, I was supposed to try to get Michael Redmond, who's the only... I think he's the only Western Nindon uh, from Go. Um, I, I, I wanted to get him on stream, but I wasn't able to get him on stream. I even offered to, to pay, like, 200 an hour uh, for, like something that I could, like, do for content, but doesn't seem really interested in it. Uh, that was a while ago, but, yeah. I don't know. Thought, you know. Thought it would be very interesting for people. Um, I mean, we had PBDDR on stream. Uh, he's the Magic World Champion. Um, we had him on stream for four and a half hours, and we talked about all of these concepts, and it confused him as well. Um... You know, like why people play and practice the way that they do. Anyways, um, okay, this is gonna be the final fight. Whippo's just, I mean, he's dead. Selfmade is randomly in the the fight. Great, he finally applied some black cleaver stacks so that his uh his is you know perfect. Nemesis died too. Yeah, I mean Yankos has smite, so I don't know. It's all on reckless now, but. over yeah gg wait why hmm why did he upgrade what Black cleaver. don't know That's why it's cool. triforce is better to upgrade for sure this game's over Um, that was good. That was, I mean, that was really good by Reckless and Hilly, but everything else, just, yeah. <laughs> what changed from last series, though? I mean, nothing, really. I mean, th I, this is what I was saying, like, before uh, the series commenced tonight, is that, like, nothing, nothing actually changes. Like, it's just, it, I feel like it's very random. Um, I think G2 are just the better team uh, in general. 
Um, I think Fnatic, like, when when you listen to Fnatic's voice comms, like, the, the leaked ones uh, from YouTube and stuff, like, their, <clears throat> their channel, um, you can just, like, tell, you know? They're... I mean, I've said this for a long time, right? They're they're basically coworkers. They're just basically coworkers. I mean, it's and, and what I mean by that is like, they clearly do not all think the same way about the game. Um, and if you don't all think the same way about the game, then you at the least need to agree to play a certain way. Um, and when you can't do that, then then you're hopeless. You know. It's over. I mean, it's over. It's it's infernal, and yeah. <clears throat> Thor on Twitter. I don't know. Um, let me see. The game end? The game didn't end yet. Holy shit, guys. Alright, I mean that's a fast three zero, honestly. Honestly, a little a little bit of a little little bit of a diffy. A little bit of a diffy in the tiffy, you know what I mean? Little bit of a diffy in the tiffy. Yeah, well. Uh. Time for a show. Show them how you well play. Go and check the replay. Dubs like all day. Boy, you better know. Know that it might be just a little hyphy trying to call about these watches. Go, cause the games are straight fire. Every team fight coming down to the wire. The whole world trying just to look like us. Take a look at your league. Wish you played like us. Now, time to reality. You're facing a tragedy when the European legacy can fucking down your private be those feelings of anxiety. The future you don't want Not much to talk about here, to be honest. This could be the final chance. Our last dance. Together. This oh. could be the final chance. Our last dance. Are you ready? Come on, dance with me. With the LEC. Come on, dance with me. Let yourself be free. Come on, dance with me. With the LEC. Come on, dance with me. Do that, that baby. Talk that good shit. Boy, you better back it up. <laughs> Fnatic can still what? Still win? Did you just say Fnatic can still win? Uh, they're winning, yeah. They can get Elder, yeah.
come a long way since the beginning. The dark days of double streams, vacation memes, now charged oh. up and charging forward. They're just gonna get ended on. We are the LEC. We can't be stopped, yeah. slowed, CLG. 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 Put your hands together. This is your anthem. Come on, dance with me. We're the LEC. Come on, dance with me. Let yourself be free. Come on, dance with me. We're the LEC. Come on, dance with me. Do that Pepe D. Come on, dance with me. We're the LEC. Come on, dance with me. Let yourself be free. Come on, dance with me. With the LEC. Come on, dance with me. Do that Pepe D. You ready? Ready for what? Oh, we're doing it. What? <laughs> uh, no, you logged me out. Okay. What? You meant 